to composing with Bach and Cage. Today is the last episode about uh, my uh, polyrhythmic generative patch. And um, I fixed a couple of bugs in here, so you might want to download this again. Last uh, two episodes, we explored how the general uh, patch works. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to build the pitch collection based on the uh, durations. So we are going to use the duration uh, generative patch and then use that structure and those values to build pitches. Each part will go through the A, D, C, and E, in this case, a melodic fragment um, as I go through the score, but each of the voices will pick a different harmonic level. So um, the first voice will have the fundamental. That's why this melodic fragment is pretty low because I'm going to go up um, based on the harmonic series. So it's going to get pretty high pretty fast and that's why it's good to, to have it on a lower level. Uh, of course, there are other ways of doing this. How am I going to go from one pitch to the next? That's going to be based on uh, the duration values. So uh, I'm going to accumulate um, the duration values. So for short duration values, my step towards the next pitch is going to be small. With longer duration values, it's going to be bigger. So if I have a very long duration values, I might skip from the first to the last, for instance, or I might skip one note in between. If I have short uh, duration values, I will have repetition of the same notes. In my uh, resulting score, when I have short values, this E is repeating. And then as I go uh, on longer values, the values are uh, going through the melodic fragment faster. The goal is to build a pitch list that has the same structure as the duration list. So we can, so that we can pair each one of the durations to each one of the pitch uh, values. And that needs to be uh, a precise one-to-one uh, -one correspondence. We have a um, list of lists and um, the first uh, order of parentheses will uh, wrap uh, an entire voice. So the length of the whole list will be the, length, the number of voices in my uh, duration list. Uh, and if I pick one of the voices, then the length of the, of the list inside the voice, I will get the number of measures. So each measure contains a uh, durations uh, list. And each of these values needs to match to have a correspondent um, into the pitch list. I want to use this uh, melodic fragment uh, for my voices. And like I mentioned, I want to have each voice be at a different harmonic level in the harmonic series. So what I need to do first is to iterate through this list and uh, get a harmonic series for each one of these pitches. I can use the cage harmonic series and that uh, this takes um, the fundamental uh, in uh, the left inlet in midi sense, then the number of harmonics as a second inlet, and then the harmonic distortion in the third inlet. The back eater by default flattens the list completely, unless I give it uh, an argument at max depth one or two or whatever. See here I have four items. It will create a harmonic series of six elements, gather them, into a buckle like object, add an order of parentheses around them, and then uh, output this as four lists of six harmonics. I can always uh, add a length object in between to make sure that's the case. I have four, and if I wanna check whether the second level, the second uh, level of parentheses is of the correct uh, length, then I can just uh, add pick one of these and then, so for instance, pick the first one and check what the length of that is and should be six as it is. So I want this a list to be ordered so that each 
voice picks one of the harmonics level. So for instance, the first voice would be the fundamental. The second voice would be the first harmonic, which would be just uh, an octave above all of these pitches. And then I have a fifth and, and, and so on and so forth. We can just uh, do a transposition of this matrix. So to do a accumulation, what I need to do is to uh, use a, an object that's called Bach um, dx to x. Uh, this object uh, takes uh, this object takes um, an initial value, so the starting number, and then uh, the delta values uh, in the right inlet. So this is my initial list, and then if I accumulate that, then I have my list that has been accumulated. Whenever I get a rest value, I will get a negative value, and I don't want to use that to accumulate, but I still need something in the list to uh, uh, account for the rest. So I need to remember that for each duration, even if it's a rest, even if it's a negative duration, I need to have a pitch value that can be zero, for instance, uh, but I do need something like a placeholder uh, for the rest in the pitch collection. This object here, the expert object, uh, creates a Boolean uh, condition so that uh, if the value is less than zero, it will uh, multiply my value by zero and, um, and it will give me a zero. And if it's uh, more than zero, it will just pass through uh, the value. But um, if, and also it will uh, transform this from a ratio value to a floating point. Uh, so in this case, the final value that I get here is not necessarily a one. See, I get a 0 0.5 because I have rests in the in the list, and the rests are uh, they don't uh, contribute to the uh, delta list. If I want to build more than one measure and accumulate more than one measure at a time, I do want to uh, accumulate saving the last value of the perce uh, preceding measure and accumulate on that value. The last value of the, of the list that is coming out of here, of the accumulated list, it's saved into this Bacharach object and uh, it's, it's uh, fed into the dx to x uh, object uh, whenever uh, another list is received. So uh, the new measure coming in uh, it's been added to the preceding measure. And this conditional operation just says that whenever the index that is given me by the Uzi is equal to one, then I can start from a zero. What I can do is uh, use a periodic function uh, so that these values will be bounded into within a certain limit. Uh, and we can, for instance, use a, a sine or a cosine I've prepared here a just an arbitrary way of doing this. I normalize this from uh, from uh, minus one to one to a zero to one range, and then I multiply it by the second inlet, which would be the length of the list that I want to pick from. Whenever I output the list, I will have the four values, and then I can take the length of that. So this way I only get values that are, they vary from, uh, um, from one to four. So I need the address to be uh, stored into the back end. And then eventually I need uh, the list, the pitch list to be output into the left inlet of the back length. And that will, uh, will, will be collected into a back collect object and the back collect object will give me the pitch collection uh, for the voice. 
So now I have the, this is voice one. Uh, if I want to change the voice, this will be the second harmonic level. And this will be the third. So uh, the last step would be to, to collect this. So this will be, each voice will be collected into this. And I have to remember to add an, an order of parentheses around each voice. The first uh, collect collects all of the measures and the second collect will collect uh, each voice. This is the final uh, episode about the multi uh, of the polyrhythmic, polyrhythmic uh, generative patch. Um, and uh, I went through um, different aspects of it, uh, the general outline of the patch, um, which I have re-uploaded because there was a little bug in it. I've seen how uh, this, the patch works with this uh, basic subpatcher that generates uh, rhythms for each measure, collecting all of the measures, uh, and then creating durations for each one uh, of the voices, and based on the durations, uh, create uh, pitches for each one of the voices. And um, pitches are based on um, a uh, melodic fragment uh, that is being uh, repeated at different paces based on the durations that I have here. And each one of the voices uh, explores a different harmonic level of that melodic fragment. Please subscribe and uh, like the video and um, ask me questions in comments. And uh, ask me about uh, topics that you would like me to go over in next episodes. Bye-bye.